Right, and this is just a big short video about Brexit. Now, what is Brexit? Everybody in the UK is talking about Brexit. All over the world, everybody's looking at the UK and we're talking about Brexit. What does Brexit really mean? What does Brexit, Brexit really mean to you as a country, as a business? What does country really mean to you um, if you're a politician, if you're a president of some countries or somewhere in the world? What does Brexit mean to you? How will Brexit affect you? I want to try and just give a quick and short explanation about Britain. So basically, Brexit is um, a term developed from Britain and exit, meaning Britain Britain exiting from the European Union. Now, in on 23rd of Ju um, June 2016, whilst um, David Cameron was the um, Prime Minister of the United Kingdom, he done um, he asked he asked the people, the electorate for a referendum about whether they want the UK to be in Europe, uh, continue to remain as member, members of the EU, of the European Union. Somebody might ask, what, what do you mean, what's a referendum? A referendum is actually when, um, it's in, a, in most democratic countries or most civil, civilized and democratic countries, they, they use what they call a referendum. They ask the people what they want about a particular issue. For example, like in, in this case, like in the UK, they they wanted to find out if if it is if the people wanted the UK to still be me members of the European Union, um, and then um, that, that's what they done. They, it's, that's what we is generally known as a referendum. It's ask, actually asking the people the opinion about a particular matter. For example, if if for example Kenya wants to be part of the African Union, or if Kenya don't want to be part of the African Union, the president of Kenya Kenya goes to the people and say. Would you like Kenya, Kenya to remain as part of the African Union? If Kenya, the people of Kenya, Kenya goes out to vote, uh, it is what they call in a referendum, and they say yes or no. So basically, that is what it is. That is what happened in the Kingdom on twenty third of June, twenty sixteen. I remember clearly because twenty third of June is clearly is the day after my birthday. So I'll never forget that day. It was the day after my birthday, the twenty second of twenty third of June. Anyway. David Cameron then asked the people if the UK should continue to be part of the European Union and indeed they came out about um, over over 50 uh, approximately 52 percent to be precise 51.9 percent people voted yes we want to come out of the uh, European Union and about 49 percent said no that we 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 want to remain in the in the um in the EU basically what what happens in democratic countries like the UK is um the, the the majority usually takes the um kind of takes the um the vote like the say that's the saying goes the majority takes the vote so the UK actually have to now respect the um the the decision of of the electorate now I must point out to you that Brexit the referendum when they act the referendum it is it is not legally binding okay the law does not say that David Cameron or the United Kingdom had to or have to obey what the people said. Okay, the that's one thing you must note about a referendum, unlike, unlike the, an election. A referendum is not legally binding, whereas an election is legally binding. Okay, if you go out and vote in an election, election, the result of an election is legally binding. But in the case of a referendum, that's what you want to do. To, 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 the referendum is not legally binding. A country does not have, to, you don't have to legally follow the outcome of, an, of a referendum. However, as, as in this case, the government decided that it will, although it's not legally binding, but because of this is the wish of the people, we will uh, respect um, the wish of the people, and that is where we are today in the United Kingdom. Okay, so that is what um, that is where we are now. That's why you you going to hear about Brexit, 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 Brexit is basically means Britain intention or Britain li leaving the the European Community. Okay, Britain, Britain, and the United Kingdom has been part of the EU for over forty years, and as as a matter of as a, as a matter of history, Britain will be the first country in the EU to leave the European Union, uh, European Union Community. Okay, Britain will be the first person to say, okay, we're coming out. No other country has had the courage or the boldness to do so. So, the UK is the first country to do it. So, uh, you can imagine it's not been done before. There's no trend that been set before. So, they're trying to set set um, a new pace. That's why you see most of the problems. Are currently ongoing okay so i'm sure you you have an, a, a clear picture of what a referendum is and why the uk is leaving the eu and what does what exactly brexit means okay i'm sure you we're, we're clear on that okay so as it stands so you begin to wonder then why the, the next question in your mind will be why would the uk want to leave the eu 
Why? What's the purpose? Is the EU a bad thing? Is the EU not, not, not a good thing? You, you may be wondering. I'll tell you in my next video um, some of the advantages and disadvantages of being in the EU and some of the reasons why the UK wants to leave the EU. Watch out for the next video. Thank you. Bye.